Hello and welcome back to the Tech Blackboard. And today let's cover an important topic on AZ104 exam storage type and AZ copy. In the recent times, new versions of the questions have come due to the changes in the way we access these different storage types. And with all the questions, I will share the Microsoft documentation so that you can do some self-study and also answer validation. So let's jump in and prepare for AZ104. So here comes the very first question for today, question number 71. The question says that your company has an Azure storage account named Blackboard Storage. Now you must copy your files hosted on your on-premises network to Blackboard Storage using AZ Copy. Which Azure storage services should you use? And your options are table and queue only. Option B, blob, table and file only. Option C, blob, file, table and queue. And option D, blob and file only. And the correct answer for this question is option D, blob and file only. And we can validate our answer on this documentation. Here you can read that after you have authorized your identity and obtained SES token, you can begin transferring data. Here you can see what are all the services or what are all the different type of storages that are supported here. So here you can see that we have Azure Blob Storage. We also have Azure Files. We have Amazon S3, Google Cloud Storage and lastly Azure Stack Storage. But then the last three ones are not given in the question. In the question, we only have Azure Files and Blob Storage. And that's why Blob and File are the only supported storage types when it comes to the file hosting using Easy Copy. And it also makes a lot of sense, my friends, because the other type of storage types given in the question, table and queue, have nothing to do with file hosting. So for example, let's talk about the table one. So the table storage is a NoSQL key value store for rapid development using massive semi-structured data sets. And as you can see in the definition, it has nothing to do with the file hosting. And similarly for the queue, the Azure queue storage is a service for storing large number of messages. You can access the messages from anywhere in the world using Using authenticated calls using HTTP and HTTPS. So once again, Q storage has nothing to do with file hosting and not related to easy copy. Now let's move on to the next question. Question number 72. The question says that you have an on-premises server that contains a folder D slash folder one. Now you need to copy the contents of the D slash folder one to the public container in an Azure storage account named Blackboard storage. Which command should you run? Now friends, this question is quite related to the previous one. Probably you can say the next step of the previous question. In the previous question, we understood that it is the blob and the file storage types that we can use to host our on-premises files to the cloud storage. But in this question, let's understand how exactly to do that using AZ copy command. So now let's read the options. And the first one is HTTPS techdata.blob.co.windows.net slash public. So this one, you can see this is just a hyperlink. This is not a command. And that's why you can already remove this option from the possible answers. And now let's Let's check out the second command that is az copy sync d folder one basically the folder given in the question as well then the same hyperlink snapshot and then as the option c we have az copy copy and then the same folder same link given here as well and then we have parameters given as recursive equals to true and the last command is az storage block copy start batch d folder one and the same link and friends, this option, the option D does not start with easy copy. That's why you can also eliminate this one. So now the competition or the choice lies between the option B and option C. So have you picked your answer? Well, the correct answer is option C. Now let us validate the answer. So as you can see on this documentation, this is the correct command. Here you can see that we have AZ copy, copy, and then we have the folder path. This is in our case is D folder one. And then the entire path or the hyperlink to the blob storage is given. And lastly, we have the parameters that says recursive equals to true. And that's exactly what we have also chosen as the answer. Now let's move on. Question number 73. The question says that you have an Azure storage account named storage one that uses Azure blob storage and Azure file storage. Now you need to use easy copy to copy the data to blob storage and file storage in storage one. Which authentication method should you use for each type of storage? And here you can see that we are given with two tables. The first one represents the blob storage and the second one represents the file storage. Now let's see what are the options given for the blob storage. Here, first of all, we have Azure Active Directory only. Then we have shared access signatures only. 
and then we have access keys and shared signatures only and then as an option d we have microsoft intro id and sas and as the fifth option we have azure active directory access key and sas and similarly all the options are also same for the file storage now let's see the correct answer for the blob storage here we have the correct answer as microsoft intra and sas and then for the file storage the correct answer is shared access signatures only now let's validate the answer and the validation is given in this table here here on the left hand side we have storage types and then on the right hand side we have currently supported method of authorization to start with we have blob storage and for this one the current supported method of authorization is microsoft intra and sas and then we have blob storage once again for this one we have microsoft intra and sas and lastly for the file storage we only have sas and those are the exact options that we have also chosen for the blob storage and file storage now let's move on to the next question question number 74 now friends this question here is the older version of the previous question question number 73 but i wanted to bring this question to you in case some bad luck happens and you get the older version in the exam but still you are prepared so let's check out the question the question exactly is the same and the options are also the same but there is a slight change here you can see for the blob storage we have a slight change in the option d instead of microsoft intro here it says azure active directory and sas so in case my friends you happen to get the older version in that case you have to choose this option azure active directory and sas and for the file storage the answer remains the same shared access signatures only so I hope you got the idea earlier we had Azure Active Directory which is now replaced with Microsoft Entra. Now let's move on from AZ copy and storage types to another type of question. Here it comes question number 75 and the question says that you have a registered domain named contoso.com. Now you create a public Azure DNS zone named contoso.com. You need to ensure that records created in contoso.com zone are resolvable from the internet. What should you do? And your options are option A create a NS record in contoso.com option B modify the SOA record in the DNS domain registrar then on the option C we have create the SOA record in the contoso.com and lastly modify the NS record in the DNS domain registrar and the correct answer for this question is modify the NS records in the DNS domain registrar and friends this question is quite related to the questions that we took from the question number 67 to 70 in the part 9 but those questions were totally in a different format and of course this one in a different format so please do check out the questions from 67 to 70 of the part 9 for the full coverage and links for all the previous parts and the documentation that i referred in this video is shared in the description box and yes my friends in the last episode i took a very interesting question on arm template please do not miss that there was an interesting demo that will clarify all your doubts on arm templates and that's all for today i will see you in the next video till then stay fit keep learning and thanks for watching.